Hello everybody, what's going on? This is Andrew, and today I'm back with one more historic deck to close out this week. Um, if you were watching these historic videos all week, uh, one of the earlier days, I don't remember what day it was, we played against a blue-white control deck that was playing Approach of the Second Sun as one of their win conditions. I think this card's awesome. Um, I played a lot with this card and it was in standard, trying out different builds of different approach decks. And so I decided I wanted to, to try out a deck like what our opponent was playing the other day. So this is my take on a blue-white approach of the second, second sun deck. Um, I found a list online and tweaked it quite a bit, but this is where I ended up. Um... We've got three Teferi, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, to go with our approaches. We've got a couple Narsets down here. Uh, removal and Counter Spells. Uh, Omen of the Sea to find what we're looking for a little bit faster. Some Behold the Multiverses. And some Fey of Wishes. This was in the deck list I found, and I thought this was cute. Um, so we can wish for Glass Casket, for a Counter Spell if we need it, for a Banishing Light. Uh, for a Memory Deluge, a Fumigate, or for the fourth copy of Teferi, which is hanging out over here in the sideboard. Looking awesome. Um, otherwise, you know, we've got the four, four Wrath of Gods in, this, in the main deck, we've got the Portable Holes, and we've got a bunch of lands and a copy of Field of Ruin. Um, I don't know, I think this deck is pretty straightforward, but... Oh, you know what? I don't have any rest in pieces or anything. That's probably a mistake. Okay, I'm going to go find <laughs> what piece of Graveyard Hate I want to play, and I will be right back. Okay, so we had those Tails Ends in the sideboard. I'm sure that I want Graft Digger's Cage instead. You could probably play Rest in Peace also. They do the same thing. Uh, this is cheap, so it's easy to like f wish for it plus play it in the same turn if need be. Um, but yeah, this deck seems fun. Uh, we're just a blue-white control deck first, and then sometimes we win the game with Approach of the Second Sun, which sounds pretty fun to me. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a copy of the the lands, take out a plains and take out an island, and put a copy of each of the, the creature lands from the D&D &D set, and then after that, we'll hop into a couple matches. All right, getting into our first match here against Tempest. I honestly haven't been thinking much about Historic the last day, um, because Crimson Vow spoilers just started. Yeah, the next um, standard set's coming out a little sooner than it normally would, because they want to do the two Innistrad sets back-to-back. -back, which, I can I can understand, it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this hand. This hand's fine. Hopefully Narset is a good card for us here. If not, we can wish for something to, to fix the problems. But yeah, uh, they had their, or Magic had their kickoff event for Crimson Vow spoilers yesterday morning. Um, we're getting the rest, the rest of these lands are getting printed in that set, which is pretty cool. Um, and then they're doing like some Dracula card effects, similar to what they did with Godzilla for some of the vampires, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I've, I'm excited to see how, uh, how that set shakes up these formats, um, Thalia, Guardian of Thraben's getting reprinted, which is kind of a big deal, and in theory that would help white decks continue to, to thrive against the control decks, or the, the blue-red Epiphany decks, um, because Thalia taxes all their spells, right? So, we'll see if, if there's something there, and we've got to wait for all of the spoilers to come up before we, we make any definitive calls one way or the other, but so far the set looks great. And to be completely honest, I'm excited for a new draft format. Um, I've, I really want to like, um, okay, our opponent shocking and search for a scanting. That's fine. We're not just running this out as a creature. We're going to try to stick in our set. I want to like uh, Midnight Hunt Draft. I've played a lot of it. I'm trying to, to do good, but I'm just not getting the hang of it for whatever reason. 
So I'm excited for a new draft format. Oh, you know what? I should put, be playing at least one Triome in this deck to cycle. Because I upped the land count on the original deck just because I think the deck did not have enough lands. So... I should be playing a Triome instead of one of these basics, probably. Like our opponent is. Uh, the Archmage Charmed, my Narset. It's fine, I'm just gonna slam another one next turn. And then I might wish for Teferi or something. Okay, Shark Typhoon's interesting. Just gonna try to stick Narset again. Nice. Ooh, put four lands on the bottom of my deck. Honestly, kind of worth it. I didn't draw a card, but that was <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay, Shock, Sacred Foundry, and they're playing Teferi, yep. Let's slow this down. Oh, you're... Oh, yeah, you can't plus. You have to tuck Narset, sure. Oh, and another land, jeez. Um... Is the play here to wish for Teferi or to make a Shark? It might be to make a Shark. To try to kill the fairy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just pass, like cycle shark typhoon. Make a shark, and I'll be able to play an Arsent next turn. To attack them on that angle. Yep. I have the Hall of Storm Giants here uh, that can attack the fairy pretty soon also. So I don't feel like I'm in a terrible spot, but I definitely need to need to figure out what else I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that resolves. Then I'll cycle Shark Typhoon. They might have Lightning Helixes in their deck. Like, I'm almost expecting them to just Helix this. Yeah. Draw Omen. Draw Narset. Here's Narset. They have Veto, sure. Your turn. Next turn I'm just using Hollow Storm Giants to attack their Teferi. Hopefully. They bend a Helix, flip Descanta. Plus Teferi, yep. Uh, we've let this to Fairy Plus twice now, and they've got an active Ascanta. That might be too much for us to deal with. Hard cast Shark Typhoon, sure. That one we can actually deal with, um, because we can go get Banishing Light out of the sideboard. Don't think I want either of these cards at this point. Spell Pierce is not good anymore. Vito's nice, though. One, two, three, four, five. Shock this in, activate Hall. Hope they don't have a two-mana spell. If they have a spell here, I'm probably dead. No spell means I get to keep playing. It's still a hard game for sure. 
I get to keep playing. Oh, what? Why didn't they do that and make a shark and block? That's why. Yeah, we'll be done. We'll be done here. We'll be done. <laughs> okay, so we want vetoes. We want the disputes, the spell pierce. Uh, we don't want the portable holes. And we'll trim a couple wraths. Do I trim all the wraths? Like, do I put all this stuff in my main deck? Because I could take out these wraths and put the Deferi and the Deluge in my deck, and now Fey of Wishes doesn't really do anything. Like, it can go get creature removal if we need it to. Or do I leave... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to leave these two cards in my graveyard and put two Banishing Lights in my main deck. Um, that way, Fae of Wishes can still go get Card Advantage or Teferi, or it can go get a Banishing Light, and I can draw into the into the Banishing Lights to deal with their Teferis. That's what I'll do. And we'll see, see if we can fight back a little bit this game. Love to play first. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great, actually. We can lead on island and then go cave, glacial fortress, nurse it. Multiple spell pierces early in this game is going to be really good, potentially. They don't have mana to try to fight Narset. Cool, we'll take the Mind Stone, that sounds awesome. They get their search down, that's fine though. Missing land there kind of sucks. Um, let's activate. Ooh. I'm taking the Banishing Light. Applying the Mind Stone and passing. So obviously we can't Dovin's Veto anything this turn, but we can Spell Pierce something. Or Mystical Dispute something. Um, yeah, I think I'll just Spell Pierce the Iteration. Turn off their card advantage a little bit. Seems fine to me. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Omen here, because I'd like to hit a land drop. Cool. I don't really want this approach yet. Yeah, I'm just putting approach on the bottom, I think. Uh, we'll shock this and pass. They've got their own Narset. Uh, we'll go ahead and Spell Pierce this one. Do I run out of Narset this turn? I don't think so. I think I'm just chilling. Maybe I'll crack Omen of the Sea this turn. I keep finding lands at this point. Land and Fey of Wishes. Actually, yeah, that can stay just like how it is. Um, do I try to Banishing Light the Escanta? I think so. I think I'm okay with this. And then pass. Pass. 
They have another one. Um, you know what? That's fine. Uh, I'm going to attempt to wish here. Cool. Going to go get a Teferi. And that should be, that should be the game, basically. Okay, they're just passing, which means I kind of don't just get to slam Teferi here. I don't want them to veto my Teferi. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to play a backup Narset there and plus, and just keep waiting. Um, so actually, I think I'm going to cut one of my approach of the second sons so I can wish for it and I think I'll put the deluge in the main deck yeah I like that a lot better okay game one we kind of stumbled game two our opponent kind of stumbled game three this hands garbage this is a lot better. I think I put the castle back. Lead on island so I can dispute something if I want to. We've got the Banishing Light to clean up something also. This hand's okay. Ooh, that was a great draw. Now we have something to do this turn, and it's going to let us find our land drops. Uh, they can iterate this time. That's fine, because I want to Omen. If they find a land, that's fine. Probably won't counter this. Cool. Bottom both, I think. Yeah. Cool. Found some lands. Um, this is not a, an untapped land. Do I need all three mana? Probably not, actually. This is probably the turn to just play Castle Ardenvale. Yeah, because they did nothing. Okay, it didn't matter anyways. But <laughs> the idea was that that was the best turn to do that. Um, our mana is perfect now, so it doesn't matter what we do. We will not be countering a Memory Deluge if they choose to fire one off. We will Deluge here, though. Okay. Head to Dispute. Makes sense. Um... We're not going to run out a Naked Teferi. If they tap more mana, maybe, but the way it's sitting right now, we're not doing that. Mm-hmm. And we'll make a 1-1. One, one. They want an Archmage's Charm now? Okay. Combat. Attack you. This 
so I can Teferi here. If they have a Veto, I'm sad, but that's the only thing I'm sad about. I think I go for it. If this works, I'm so far ahead. Yeah. If they have another veto here, I'm really sad. Darn. I know what must be done. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, I don't think waiting any longer would have done anything. Um we get to try to banishing light it. Oh, and we have the spell pierce, so that should actually work. Um Yep, this should work. And then we've got the Deluge. We're not out of this game yet, that's for sure. Look at all, all of our opponent's lands. So, they're playing a third color, obviously. They're playing red. Oh, they are vetoing it. Why did they tank so long and whether or not to veto that? Weird. Hmm. Well, that's probably it for us. Um, obviously, our opponent's drawn more cards that do things. And Teferi's at five now. These Archmage's Charms have been good for our opponent. Just letting them draw cards. I'm gonna crack Omen here, see what I can find. It's probably not gonna be enough. I don't need lands. Okay. I mean, that's not nothing. <sighs> okay. Damn. That was kind of close, I guess. But our opponent did the control thing a little better. Alright. Jumping into another match. I'm hoping that we don't have to play a control mirror. Control mirrors are kind of straightforward in my opinion. Um, we'll see how this goes. Turn 1 Steam Vents is <laughs> not a good indication for me. Um, what am I doing here? Omening? Or, no, I'll mine stone. Spire bluff. Uh huh. Fortel sock coming pass. I'm not sure what deck our opponent's playing. Um, this. I was going to say this could be a Tainted Pack style deck, but they have two Steam Vents, so it's not that. It might just be Grix's Control. Oh, are we taking all the turns over there? Uh, bottom both, I just want lands at this point. That's not a land. That's a land. Um, let's resolve Narset while the getting's good. I 
And I think I'm safe to tick nurse it down here. Against red decks, it can be kind of sketch, but I think I want to. I'm just going to take to fairy. Hmm. They get to take my Teferi now? That's fine. I guess they could take Approach if they're more scared of Approach. I doubt it, though. Yeah. Okay, they have a Hall of Storm Giants that they can turn on next turn if they find a land. So that can kill Narset. And they're iterating. Iteration gets around Narset because it's just putting cards into your hand. But they played their land already, so I'm not sure what they're hoping to exile. Yeah, that land just goes away. Um, we'll activate Narset. Uh, we found this spell pierce, so I don't know if I want this veto. And I'm kind of out of card advantage. I kind of want to take the Behold instead of the veto. I guess I can pour, I could have portable hold the treasure. Maybe I was supposed to do that. Okay, we're in an okay spot. Missing lands there kind of sucked. I really wanted to hit a land. Mizix's mastery. Just to recast, um, expressive iteration. Sure, you got it. This is fine. Um, I don't really care about this at all. I'm going to crack Omen of the Sea on end step and just try to stack my deck to put lands on top. These three cards don't do anything right now. Oh, they have Bone Crusher Giants. So they can stop Narset. Honestly, this might be worth spell piercing. Yeah, I'm going to leave Narset alive. That feels pretty good. Uh, yeah, sure. Back up Narset. And a land. Yeah, seems pretty good. I'm just going to run out the back of Narset because I want to keep drawing cards. And, and I'll take this approach. Seems good. Got the veto to stop them from doing anything ridiculous. I've got the Omen of the Sea. Nothing. Okay. I'll crack this. I'm looking for lands. Those are lands. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll just leave them both on top. So I could just slam approach here. But they didn't do anything on their turn. I'm kind of scared that they might have something to do. I think I'm just going to pass and not even activate Narset. With my Field of Ruin and my Castle Ardenvale up. Gear Hulk. Yeah. Flashback Unexpected Windfall to discard a card and draw a card. You got it.
So they're doing that. Tap, tap. Crack. Castle here. Mm, they have fatal pushes in their deck. Okay. My mind needs a rest. Just gonna approach here. And now I'm racing to my approach. They have another Hall of Storm Giants, which is obviously a little scary. Castle's a nice draw. I can Wrath and Behold in the same turn. I think that's my play this turn. Wrath away the Gear Hulk. Behold. To get closer to that approach. Yep, I'll get an 8. We'll hold here. Bottom both. Draw two. Draw one. Then can I win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it! We did the thing! Nice. Okay, so playing against Grixis Control, uh, I'm gonna sideboard similarly to how I did in the other matchup. I'm gonna take out one of the approaches so I can wish for it with my Fey of Wishes. The portable holes seem bad, the banishing lights seem fine. Do I want to leave in, like, a single Wrath this time, though? Uh, maybe? Uh, Graph Digger's Cage for Gear Hulk. Probably not worth bringing in, but I might wish for it if I think that's what they're doing. Um, I think I do want to leave a Wrath in my deck. Is that even true? <laughs> I'll stick with just two Spill Pierces so I can leave a Wrath in the deck. Yeah, that sounds fine. That sounds fine. Okay, let's see if we can get a match win against Grixis Control. We got game one, thanks to Approach of the Second Sun. Game two... Yeah, we'll keep this. Field of Ruin is a blue land. Not like right now, but it will be. <laughs> yeah, go. Hmm. 
They have magma opus. It means wishing for um, cage might be something I do a little f like faster than I otherwise would have. Go. Stomp my face. Um, sure. Cast Bone Crusher. I think I'll just dispute this. Like, a 4-3 is kind of tough for me to deal with right now. Then we'll pass here. Yep, you can iterate as much as you want. And they're just going to iterate again. Weird. I would have not played my pathway first. I would have cast the iteration first, so if I hit a land, I can actually play it. They can't play that land. Um, going to hit their black source, I guess. Island. Ooh, they don't have any black mana. That's good for me, probably. Um, I missed a land drop this turn. I want to just get this Narset out. But I kind of want to just play Memory Deluge. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking land land here, I think. Tapping out feels bad, but I think it's what I gotta do. Super not punished for it, that's awesome. Um, I'll just shock, because I don't think there's a reason to not to. And if I Narset, I can't hold up double counter spell. I could wish and hold up Veto. Wish for Graft Digger's Cage. Or just wish for Approach. Wish for, wish for Approach here. I kind of love that. I have the one approach in hand, so I can just win over the next couple turns. Um, yeah, that's fine. They haven't thought seized me yet, I guess. I can always get thought seized. Yeah, I gotta let the first one resolve, because <laughs> I have both approaches in hand. And I've got the Memory Deluge to get the second one, if I can cast one next turn. It's kind of tough for them to win from here. Not super sure what they do. <laughs> Maybe they take the Dovin's Veto if they want to force something through right now. Okay. Yeah, 
And what else? Niv-Mizzet Perun. Okay. Hmm. Well, does that change things? I could approach here, go up to 21. They get to go off with Niv-Mizzet. I think I need a Banishing Light at this turn. I think I can force the Banishing Light through, no matter what. Yeah, sure. Draw two, discard two, and then make a treasure. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm pretty glad I brought in the vanishing lights. <laughs> um, so now the question is do I Narset here? Probably not. Since I drew the Omen of the Sea, I'll have something to do on end step, even if, um, even if they don't do anything. Oh, they're just storm gianting. Okay. I see you, opponent. Not coming and mine stone. Don't think so. I think I'm just doing this, kind of setting it back to where we were the turn before. Fay of Wishes is a good blocker. There's Gear Hulk. Magna Opus. I'm gonna run out the Spell Pierce here, I think. It's gonna tap them out. What? <laughs> sure. Hmm. Fay of Wishes. Your turn. Mm hmm. Go to attacks. Turn on cave. Go to blockers. Block, block. Am I picking up the Fae of Wishes? Is there anything I can get from my sideboard to get me out of this? I don't... 
think so. Not enough mana to activate Omen of the Sea. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana now. Yeah, the Hall of Storm Giants is going to kill me here, unfortunately. There's the rat that I left in, but then Storm still just kills me. Hmm. Close, 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 close. I wonder if I misplayed a turn or two there in the middle. It was a tight game, though. Um. Do I change anything? I'm wondering about the glass casket for um, Bone Crusher Giants. They have Niv also, but I've got the Banishing Lights for Niv. I'm not too worried about Niv. Cage for Gear Hole. I've got the Disputes. I think I just run it back. Just hope to to draw just a little bit better. I had to burn my Field of Ruin early on to fix my mana, also. Uh, yeah, we keep this. Island go. Cave Mind Stone. Um, I'm not going to run Narset into open mana, so I'm just going to pass in Memory Deluge. Mm -hmm. that, that being said, I haven't seen that many counterspells from them, so I'm not sure that they have that many, but I know they at least have Mystical Disputes, so... I want to play around that if I can. Deluge here, get a dispute. Do I take Banishing Light or Backup Narset? Probably Backup Narset. I have practiced against Nile just the trick for this. And uh, then I'll take Behold this time. Feeling pretty good right now. They don't have double red. Cool. Dispute that. Keep an open mind. Grab my fairy. Play to fairy. I'm known for my echo Found a Dovin's veto too. Sweet. <laughs> this game is basically over. Finding Teferi there was really good. I didn't even look at the rest of the cards, really. I just saw that there was a Teferi. Oh no, not my... Not my Mind Stone. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, plus to fairy. We need to move quickly. Play glacial fortress. Um, I think I'm foretelling all of these cards. I'm just untapping some islands. Yeah, this game's over now. Um, they needed to take Teferi off the table last turn. Mizix's mastery to... yeah, sure. 
whatever. <laughs> That's fine. They found a land. Had they played a land this turn yet? No. Cool. Um, I'll behold the multiverse. Probably don't need the third. Maybe I do just keep the Narset. Narset's a good card. Plus the fairy. Play island. Then I think I will play a Narset here. Keep Narset. Plus Narset. I'm gonna grab the Wrath here instead of the Teferi. Um, mostly because... I know that they have um, Niv Mizzet in their deck, and Wrath is a nice, clean answer to Niv. I'm gonna Thought Seize me. Do I want you to Thought Seize me? Yeah, that's fine. Takes my other backup Narset. Okay. And nothing. Okay. We'll draw a card with the fairy. Let's skip to the good part. Down to Fay of Wishes. Fay of Wishes can be whatever we want it to be. Uh, but it can be a um, approach if we want to actually try to win the game that way. And Just kidding, found the approach. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'll just wait a turn. Do I have anything else to do with my mana though? No, so I'll just chill. Oh, please cast something so I can spend some mana. Um... Nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> they can loot. What you doing with the Hall of Storm Giants? Just attacking to Fairy. I'll block with my creature land. Field Hazard, Target to Fairy. That's cute. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ain't mana. I really just want to ult this to fairy. But I could just like approach and then start plussing to find the approach again. I don't know. 
think I'm gonna go for approach. Plus to fairy. You know what? I'm not done. I think that's I think this is the way you're supposed to do it. They have to keep attacking to fairy if they wanna stop me from doing things. This omen was obviously a fantastic draw. Yep. Teferi goes down to two. Oh, you have Smoldering egg, egg in your deck now. That's kind of fun. Bottom, bottom. My stop didn't work. I guess it's fine, because I can just do it this way. Yay! We did it! <laughs> it was probably super fun for our opponent, just getting buried under Teferi with approach inevitability there. Cool. So, this deck. I don't know if this deck is good. Um, this deck is fun to play, though. <laughs> um... Teferi, Wrath of God, Narset are all really powerful cards that oh, just, they do their thing very well. Um, you've got a bunch of good counter spells to back up what you're doing here. And then you've just got the approach of the second sun for a little bit of inevitability. This deck seems fine. I don't know if the way I built it is the right way to do it. Um, you could probably play a build of this deck that has a lot more blue-white duels and play Archmage's Charms instead of some of the random stuff I'm playing here. But, and the Fae of Wishes, if you don't play this, you can play Kahira as a free uh, companion, basically. Um, which I know the modern version of the deck does. So, I don't know. Blue-white control can usually configure itself to be pretty good. Um, and adding approach is something I like to do for, like I said, for some inevitability, but it's probably not even that necessary. Like that last game, we were going to win basically no matter what. We didn't need the approach to be winning there. You could argue that if approach was another card draw spell, it would have been better, because we could have uh, ulted the Teferi and then drawn cards immediately. Yeah, um, we were going to win that match without, or that game without approach. That first game we won with approach was pretty sweet, though. So, yeah, I don't know. This deck was fun. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this it's the best thing to be doing in Historic or whatever, but... Um, Sometimes playing control <laughs> can be pretty cool. And Teferi, like I said, is just on his own power level um, in terms of five mana planeswalkers. It just feels like you can't lose the game if you plus him once or twice. Um, so that's going to be it for me. Uh, and going to be it for me in Historic for a little bit. Um, my favorite deck of everything we played this week was definitely just the Gruel Aggro deck. Just... Play creatures, attack, beat them down, sometimes cast Ember Cleave. It's a good plan. It's a solid plan. Um, that's what I would play if I was playing it. If I had to play a historic tournament, I would sleeve that up. Um, the blue-green deck that we played yesterday, though, was also pretty fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. So that's that's a close second. I wouldn't bring blue eye control to a, to a tournament without practicing it a bit more. Um, I was pretty slow in those games, just trying to make sure I had everything covered. I'd need some more practice with control before I feel comfortable bringing it to an event. And that's going to be it for me for today. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good weekend, and I will catch you next time.